Welcome back to the channel. All right, I've never vlogged before, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm on work duty, so I'm staying in a hotel tonight. This is my room. It's pretty good. It's a king suite, I think. We have ourselves a couch area here. It's a nice little living space with a supposedly 50 inch flat screen TV. We've got a king size bed here. And a lot of lights. So, everything's gonna be lit. And of course we have a nice bathroom, nice art on the wall. Please excuse the echo. We have a nice large shower here with nice metal fixtures. We have ourselves a nice sink here and a nice display of the towels. And we have our Shea butter soap. And we have a nice little work area here. So we've made it down here to the Twisted Tuna. All right, we are back. I couldn't record inside the Twisted Tuna because of the music, but we got our food. So now let's head back to the hotel. And now we feast. All right guys, it's the next day. I'm done with work. Let's do a little Sonic hunting. Our first stop is Target. All right, we are looking for the Jack Specific Sonic bendable figure. Let's see if we'll have some success. I've been going to multiple Targets, but I've been unable to find them yet. Oh, here we go. What do we got? We got Sonic and Tails. Perfect. All right, let's see if the other ones are hiding anywhere. Sometimes kids will come by and they'll throw stuff everywhere. But it doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky here. But, to be honest, finding these guys is pretty lucky in and of itself. Whew. What an adventure. I can't believe we actually found two out of the four that we were looking for. Let's take a look at them. Alright, so here we've got Tails. And the invincibility box, looks like there's like some kind of smudge on his face there, but that's right. I'm glad we finally got one of them. And then we also have Sonic here. He's got his bumper. Looks pretty good. Alright. Two down, two to go. Alright, we have arrived at our second destination, Coles. So the Wave 1 Jack Pacific plushes were found here. That's where I got mine. I know the second wave has been spotted in Meyer, but it won't hurt to take a look. Okay, so we're here in the toy section. I've already walked around the whole place and I didn't see them anywhere. But I just want to make sure. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got... Porcupine pop. It's close, but I don't think that counts. All right, it's the next day. I'm back at home, as you can see. And we have some stuff we have to get done today. So I found out one of my comic boxes actually had water damage to it. So I had to take all my comics out of the boxes. And so we need to find a new way to store our comics. So I'm going to see if I can find a box that can store comics appropriately and I might even get a bookshelf to put those boxes on to keep them off the floor. All right, we are at our local Target. Let's see if we can find the other two figures we are missing. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think we're gonna find it here? Not sure. Thank you for showing no. today. Our first priority is All right, here we go. Oh yeah. We got lucky again. We've got our boy Shadow. Let's 
Let's check around, make sure none of the other ones are hiding. Nope. But that's all right. Check them out. And also guys, if you haven't met Sonic, here's your chance. Here, They've got Sonic Boom Volume 1 and 2. And I actually don't have Volume 2 yet, but as you can see, looks like Tails has taken a little bit of a tumble there. And so normally I would pick this up anyway, but on Amazon it's actually the same price. So I'm just going to take my chances and hope we can get a non-disarticulated figure box. All right, I've made my way to Lowe's. I've got myself a comic backing board here to help measure out any particular boxes I may find. Let's see if we can solve our comic issues. All right, after extensive testing and measuring, we did end up going with some hefty clear totes here. Uh, it does hold a significant number of comics in an upright position, so I'll be sure to show you how that works when we get back. Alrighty, all of the comics have been put into their hefty boxes. As you can see, they are all nice and neat and in an upright position. Uh, hopefully safe from any further water damage. Uh, none of the comics were actually water damaged thanks to being bagged and bored properly. But, uh, I'll just open one up here. You can see. Uh, they're very nice. They do stack. And, uh... It'll be very helpful for if I do move in the future, not to have to carry one really large box. All right, everyone. It's like day three or four of the vlog. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to be stringing together a lot of footage that I've been taking over the last few days. As you can see, my air conditioning knocked over a bunch of stuff from the collection, which used to be right here. And so I'm thinking I probably just need to get another shelf, just like one of these, and just replace this unit altogether. I'm probably going to take everything out of here, move this shelf over here, and then put a new shelf right here. And I'll have to move that poster, but that's fine. Alright, I'm in my local hardware store. I found some nice shelving units here, and so we're going to go with the gray one. All of my other shelving units are black, so I think this will provide a nice contrast. We're back home now. I've got the shelving units, I've got the tubes, so let's put it together. All right, and there you have it, our new shelf. Next step is to clear out this area and to move all this right here. All right, we have our shelving units all set up. We just have to put everything back. I still have a lot of these empty blind boxes from when I did the opening a couple months ago. And I actually used them to kind of stagger items behind each other so that you can see more items. They're very useful. So having said that, let's get to the building. Alright, so this is our new drinkware setup. It's a little asymmetrical for now, but all that means is we have more room to put more items. But now it's on to the next shelf. Alright, so I definitely forgot to record myself putting this shelf together, but here's what it looks like now. 
looks pretty good. Uh, there is definitely still some space here and down there. I was able to make a four-tiered uh, top row here using a lot of boxes I have in storage here. It is actually very difficult to put together, but it looks amazing. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.